is working. Alright, welcome back lovelies to Let's Play Amnesia with just a tiny bit of technical difficulties because I don't know what I'm doing, but let's face it, what else is new? I of course am Silly and Graves, readjusting things to I so I don't spook myself silly. As you can tell from the music, we are most definitely being spooked a silly. Now, let us hope. I don't quite like that. Hang on, one moment. That's good. Okay. Now. I think there's a monster out there. Out of lantern oil. It's time to be brave and face the world as it should be. Filled with monstrosities. Now. I'm not scared. No, not at all. All I did was touch the door. Like that, huh? Jiggle the door handle. You want to knock down the door? Hmm? Is that a what you wanty? Eh, screw it. Let's go say hi. Hello. Bye. Still there? Yep. Okay. Oh, sound cut out just for a brief moment there. Let's be really stupid and just walk straight away. Nice and relaxing. What? Storage, this way. I shall go this way because it's the only thing I can think of, and I can't see anything. Oh goodness, that's a wall. Oh wait, here's something. Thank. Hola. Please be some oil. Ooh! It must be Christmas. Give me that tinderbox. Right, let's see. Ooh, more tinderboxes. They knew! Aw, oh, how the heck is that? A glass jar. Can I put some eyeballs in it? That's, that's what you use glass jars for, right? So they can see their way out? Possibly. Booty knows. Right. It's a push door. What am I doing? I got lantern or Oh, why do I always do that? Go do it. Empty glass container. Yes, yes. Okay, so I got a teensy bit of oil. But I want to save it. I really want to save it because this place is so dark. Oh my goodness, it's so dark. It's almost unfairly dark. I bet you there's a good thing in there, too. Probably lantern oil. Okay. So this way to a door. No, this way to a padlock. And the padlock is in excellent condition. But is that a new padlock? Or is it... No, it must be a new padlock, because it's the... 
we're on the other side of the door with the good padlock from before. And that, do that lock was on this side. So, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Oh, boy. Could you do me a favor and not look at me? Thanks. Hey, don't breathe on me. Oh, good, dust. My favy. about lighting a spark? Been smoking too much? Of the good stuff? Oh, so many twists and turns. Which way am I even going? Probably in circles. I can see that screen. Give me a brief momentary. Boink. There we go. Also put the timer on the screen. I'm a professional. Yeah, right. Not farthest from it. Yay, dead end! I love dead ends. They're my favy. Doink. A little light for my soul. Mayhaps just a bit. I hope I haven't been this way already. That would drastically defeat the purpose of me going in this direction. That's a hole in the wall. Grand! Wait. The music stopped. At long last, the music has stopped. I've definitely been this way, right? No. Self-doubt has reared its ugly head. It won't budge. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, there's the door from before. I have been here. I... Oh. But I have not been this way. Lighty up, you. Crouch down. Stealth like. Ooh, a welcome light. <gasps> Yay. Slam. Ooh, what do we got here? 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched Brennan. upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Sounds Baron, fancy. is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Interesting way to describe the servants there. Skulking, huh? Kind of in a lot of ways of how that monstery do was skulking in the corner. And he'd always turn to look at me as soon as I stared long enough at him. I bet you he was hoarding oil there too. <gasps> oh, oil! Didn't even see that. Dump that straight into the thingamajiggy. Yeah. Could you not? Like, it, it'd be really beneficial if you didn't. Ooh! Drugs! Yay! Fantastic. Ooh! Someone's breaking the... 
someone broke the door. I bet you I could hide behind those pigs if I had been smart. Protect me, bag. You will be rewarded in the future. bigger one. You betrayed me for the last time. You betrayed me for... Never. I think we're good. Alright. Piece of cake. That one's scared. Ow! It seems to be some sort of acid. Mm -hmm. Yes, it seems to have disintegrated my fingertips. But, we have a glass jar. So let's dump this into this thingy and see if maybe we get some goodies. Doink. The glass jar holds the acid safely. Unfortunately, it's melted my fingers off, but that's no concern of mine. Who needs fingers? Besides, I'll just make new ones. Pig. Oh! Whoa! Oh, my goodness! Oh, look at all the wiggliness! Oh, my <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh, crap. <gasps> it disintegrated. This acid is acidic. <gasps> Who would have known? <gasps> that door. I bet you I can melt the padlock with this thingamajiggy. Scientifically brilliant. Ha <laughs> ha. That sounds right up my alley. I smell something over here. Some sort of goodies. There you go. Ah! Ah! Mm. Oh, landed on my head. Mm. Oh, that was. Well, just land right back where you were, you piece of crap. Get out of here. You two, out of the way. Now. Lock. Lit. It. Really? Chest high walls, my nemesis. All right, enough all gawking at the cool sciency crap and all the boxes. Let's get out of here, shall we? Ooh, a knife! Wow, I think I got tetanus just by looking at that. Well, away we go. Hopefully not into the mouth of some creature that wants to nibble us. Preferably, much preferably. Well, no, no, I've been that way. Get out of the way, torch. Hey, why can't I take one of these with me? Just rip it off the wall or bash it with a rock or something. You know. Did I put the oil in the thingy? Yes, I put the lime in the coconut. Thought it hurt. Definitely heard something. Just the walls trying to kill me. Could you stop whatever it is you're doing? Oh, that's a dead end. Hopefully not my dead end. Hmm. They don't want to mess... It's getting rather 
Buki. Well, I would find her if you weren't rushing me all the time, Daniel. I think I should follow the lights. Simply because I don't have enough. Ah. Who put this here? Thanks. It's in a very poor condition. Wait a minute. The gate leading out of this area is locked by a worn padlock. How do you know? Wait a minute. How do you know that this is the area? I mean, there were no maps. I went explicitly the other direction from where the sign was pointing to the storage area. How do you... You know what? You may be an amnesiac, but I will trust your judgment here, Daniel. But then we're going to have words. You and me and a family. Splish. It's been acidicized. Severely weakened padlock. So can I... <laughs> Bang in this kid. <laughs> Fortified with metal padlock. Okay, I need something to bash with. Or wait, can I just touch it a whole lot? Nah, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, uh, doink. I know there's a torch right there, but... I need something... Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just want to leave! She don't just wants to outside. leave. It's too dangerous. Yeah, don't go out there. Gabriel. I doubt that very much. Well, that didn't sound good at all. Neither did that, but... I need a rock. Oh, come on. That's obviously a free-floating rock that I could just... I could kick... I can kick it all the way over there. Piece of crap. Ah, here we go. Well, I'm not going through there. I think I'll just uh, wait here for a bit. I'm going to take one of these boxes and bash it against that lock. Hm. That's got to work. Wait. Oh, I'm so stupid. I have the, the hammer thingy. Don't have time to wait on your games. Did you say that? Okay. Okay, one punch. Thank goodness, because I didn't want to go there anyway. Yeah, right. Now, let's try being smart for once. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I love red doors. He unraveled the cloth, protecting the orb. Alexander reached out, picked it up, and held it up against the light. Cover it, he said. Keep it covered at all times. Ooh! A cistern! Beautiful. I love these places. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring, and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. 
The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Right, because we wouldn't need to know where the, the antidote to the poison is. No, no. Now, first things first in a new area, pull levers and see what they do. Lever is stuck and its gears need to be greased. They'll spit on it a few times. Maybe rub your elbows on it. I mean, that's where we get elbow grease, right? Won't budge. Darn. It's too impressive. That is a very neat, neatly hanging ladder. My apologies. My throat is feeling extra spicy today for some reason. Goopy. Oil drainage. A vessel is needed to carry the oil. Put it in the lantern. That'd probably be a good idea. All oil is the same oil, isn't it? I... What the... Water is too deep to traverse safely. The water is also glowing green, which probably isn't a good sign. Oh, right. I know what splishy splashes are. Oh, hey, free shower! I bet I just caught a disease by doing that. Fine. Let's see. Can't go down. Can't open the door. Can't... Ooh! A rock I can move! First thing first. Eh. Darn. I think, do I still have the... Bray. Well, as punishment for my stupidity, I have lost the power of lantern. Was that that big before? Okie dokie. Let's oil this thing up. Give it some goo. Aha! Black smoky ethereal oil, my favorite. That. Well, that's not helpful, is it? A broken pipe is blocking the ladder. However, it got somewhat damaged by the impact. Aha! Why is that there? Why is that pipe there in the first place? It doesn't connect straight away. There are a bajillion pipes. Why is it there? If you incorporated the ladder, you knew that the pipe was there. Or you put the pipe there after putting the ladder there, which is in, at the very same token, stupidity. Why? It just doesn't make any sense. Eh. Let's try again. Wait, no, what am I thinking? This is the dumb episode. Here we go. Repeated strikes. Yes. Ha ha. Honestly, that should have gone more like. I like this rock. Keep it with me. Hey, call me. All right, upsy daisy, we go. You shall guard my rear entrance. I think I used that line in a story, I'm not sure. Alrighty, room! I. Oh. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a left! Oh! Brings down the pulley system! Cool! It worked perfectly! I would have figured something would have broken. I mean, have you seen us with the... 
Huh? Repair the machine powering the eastern bridge. Oh, I get it. Okay. No problem. Alexander knew there must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the bison. That much was certain. His friend, huh? Would that friend happen to have his name start with D and the rest be annual? Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. Hmm. Can't always get what you want. But I hear if you try sometimes. <laughs> oh, bloody lantern. I'm looking at a dark wall that needs to be brighter. That's not a wall, that's a door. Ding dong! What do we got here? A trio of valves. Hmm. Three valves. Wait a minute. Half-Life 3 confirmed! No. Is that still a thing? I don't know. It's become a meme as far as I know. Well, let's try it. Lifted one bell, or weight, or whatever the heck that is. Oh, that's the clicking noise. Here we are, that's two up. Now let's try past experiences. Now, let's try valve number three. Oh no, Gordon Freeman gonna save my life. That's three for three. The world didn't go oh, and screen the screen flash. Oh, I didn't even see that. I can't see that. Okay, fine, be that way. <laughs> Hello? Is that you, Shadow? Hey, it responded. Must be the Shadow. All right. Oh. Thought I heard something there. A heavy gate. Oh, apparently not that heavy. Oh, that's no fun. There's a gear there, but I doubt it's that simple. It's that simple. Okay. Well, you do that. I'm gonna look at what we got over here. A pipe. A giant pipe that I can move. It's probably important. Most well, definitely important, so I'm gonna toss it into the main room. Just to be safe. Oh. My throwing arm sucks. Uh, I really feel like I shouldn't be touching things randomly. Putting everything into the up position. Something might explode. Who knows? There was no note here, right? Nothing. Okay. Whatever. Let's go into the other room. There's the thingy. There's the thing. Give me the thingy. There we go. Get in there, you. Aha! Success! That sort of worked. Less time to pull it, maybe. Wait, where did I throw that thing? Ah, there you are. Come here, you rusted beautiful. Hey, it worked. 
Honestly expected it to just fall right off. Ding dong! is that? A wooden crank! Hmm. Do we get a gift from Crank Yankers or what? That was a show, wasn't it? I don't remember if it was a TV show or a web series or what, but... A giant piston that I can play with? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna churn butter like nobody's business. Come on. Oh, come on. For some reason I have this nagging feeling of putting this down all the way. That seemed to do something. I like doing things. I'm gonna leave now before this building explodes. Probably a good idea. Or, not building. Room. Well, I guess the pipes are going everywhere. Maybe it will blow up everything. What fun! Well, that's already down. Mirrored. Completely mirrored, except for... Yes. Ooh, a note! Is this a note I can read, though? It is! Ah, the machine. 13th January 1799. I have worked. Uh, the work I have put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. It is beyond their comprehension. The thought of that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Oh, is it a giant machine that makes toast? That'd be awesome. Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning. Tamed lightning, you say? <laughs> well, it's a good thing I'm here. Let's see them try and tame me. <laughs> Crudely replaced by pressure steam, pushing its it, blah, 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 pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron, in the hope that it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in the traveler's locket. Oh, tra found in a traveler's locket. So, what is it? It's a clock? This does seem really extreme for a clock. Is that lever okay? Oh, they're all slightly bent. Okay. Uh, it's stuck in its position. Aha. Ooh, hello. You are glowing, my friend. Come with me, and you'll see. A world of pure imagination. If only you have the patience. Yeah. Doink. That's a lot of holes in the wall. Come on. Ah! I think I know. I just have to search around. I think I gotta put. Ooh, treasure chest! That... Stupid. I. Gah! My face! Get over there in the corner. Think about what you've done. Yeah. I still have no lantern oil. Blasphemy! Anyway, let's open up this here and get my buddies. Hello, my friend. Did you miss me? 
Sorry. Now I just did. You sure it goes there? What if it doesn't? Aha! Ah. Okay. Alright, so you stay there. I will find your friend. I feel like we need more than two, though. It just doesn't seem to fit the... Now there's a design. Hang on. Does this go anywhere else? Can this go anywhere else is a more proper question. Oh, get up there. Okay, so that goes there, no matter what. This thing looked like it had... Yeah, three options. Three possibles. I mean... Should I mirror it? I don't think I can. But let's try, at least. This here. And a thing in the middle. One on the lower? I don't think that would work, though. This thing's too big. Nope, it just gravitates there. Okay. Um, I'll be back to seek out that which I cannot see. Need myself a torch. Eh, get out of the way. Silly box. Trick tricks are for kids. Okay, um... Let's try moving these. It's stuck in position. Don't tell me I got this right on the first try. No. No, I did not. I... Wait a minute. Oh, hi. How you doing? A pleasure to meet you. Out of the way, door. Now. Mirrors are importante. Got a feeling we gotta mirror this room exactly as it is to be in the other room. So it's like. Da, da, da. Okay. Let's give it that a try. Now, the big question being. Is it mirrored that way? Or that way? Let's try this way first. Now, this one was low. It was like... Not that low. Maybe about like that? Higher. Quit whooshing! That seems too high. A little bit lower. Let's try for there. And this one was high. And, uh... Let's try for that. A little lower. Maybe like. No, that's the same height as the other thingy. Let's double check. Into the room. I feel like I was way off. That's much closer to the ground. One second. I'm all out of time, but I just want to figure this out before I go... Okay, let's look at relatives. And no, not a family reunion. 
I'm talking relative positions. If I just walk in the room, just past the door, center is resting on top of the far bar. I know that's not a bar, but I can't think right now. This one is just below the first notch on the pipe, and this one is nestled between the elbow of that pipe. Let's try! Ah, I see it now. And I think it is reversed. Yes. Which means this one will go just high. What? Huh? Wait. I was yeah, that... Oh. Is that you? That's not a flashback. Okay. Uh, plus, it's not Daniel. It's Daniel and a triune entity. Now, um, oh crap, where did I throw the pipe? Oh wait, I see, it's right there. Over you go. Thankfully, all I have to do is uh, hold the right stick to the right. I don't actually have to turn it. It's quite nice. Now. Oh, I'm so skilled. All right, now. Let's see. No, quite obviously. Quite obviously not that. Okay. Ah, jeez. Okay. Well, we got one puzzle down. I'm gonna break stuff in the next episode. For now, thank you all for watching. This has been Let's Play Amnesia with me, Selling Graves. And I'll see y'all later. Did I even intro this correctly? Eh, who knows. Later.